In this video, we are going to understand what is a plugin pipeline. So let's go ahead and have a look. So a plugin is a class library or a set of classes. And when you compile a set of classes, you get something called as DLL file or an assembly file. Now this assembly file has some custom code and we can register these assemblies in some server side events like create, update, assign or delete, which are of specific record type. In Dynamics terminology, these events are also called as messages. So both are the same thing. So for example, when you update the revenue field of a contact, you would also like to perform some tax calculations automatically which are not supported out of the box so here the event is on update and the entity is contact this means that the trigger is on update of a contact record where you can register the event which contains the custom code to do some tax related calculations so let's see what actually happens on the server so let us say that the client over here creates a contact record. So the information processed from the client and goes into the server, which contains the main event. So right now this main event is the create event, right? Because the contact is created. Now this main event pushes the information into the database, receive the response and then sends it back to the client where the page is updated or refreshed. Now the client again updates the revenue field on the contact and the information then passes to the server into the main event and now the main event is the on update event which updates the record that is the revenue field on the contact record and passes it to the database which receives the response and sends it back to the client again where the page is refreshed or reloaded so every time the client changes something there's a round trip which is happening and you need to understand this round trip so in this case there is no custom code involved also you cannot modify this main event over here which is handled by the platform the system however gives you the ability to write custom code either before the main event or after the main event now let's say you want to run a custom code before a contact record is created. So you can write your custom code as a class library, upload it to the server and register before the main event. When over here, you can see that there are two stages before the main event. One is the pre-validation stage and pre-operation stage. So you can upload your code over here before the main event. Similarly, if you want to run your custom code after the creation of the contact record, you can register after the main event, which is the post operation stage. Now you need to remember the main event does not change, but you can have pre validation stage, pre operation stage before the main event and post operation stage after the main event. So if you want to make changes to the data before it is inserted or updated in the database, you can use uh, the stages before the main event. And if you want to perform changes to the data after the record has been inserted and before it reaches to the client, you can use the post operation stage. So this is what is called the plugin pipeline. I hope you understood it. Stay tuned for our next video.